What's up, YouTube? Hey, I just want to uh, show you guys my the Turbo 400 that we're going to be swapping in the 78 Camaro for our LS swap. It came out of an RV. I forgot what year. I want to say about like 78 or something, somewhere around there. It was an RV. It had a big block in front of it and everything. And I bought it from the guy. It still got the stock uh, torque converter in it. So uh, I got a few things for it. Uh, the bro State of Steezo. Check his YouTube page out. Uh, these fittings he had had extra laying from one of his, uh, I think his other Turbo 400. It's just Dash 6 uh, AN fittings. Run your uh, coolant lines. They go right in there. And you can run them to your trans cooler. I'm going to be running the trans cooler on this. I'll show you guys that here in a little bit. But when they fit in there, you'll screw them down. You should put a little Teflon tape on them. I'm just putting them in there to show you guys. So you'll get another fitting, uh, AN fitting, probably with a, uh, what you would call it, whatever type of hose you want to run. You'll hook that, connect that fit into these two, and then run your lines to the front of your car or wherever you got your trans cooler placed. So, I'm not sure if you guys seen it. Drive train's been out. Uh, we still got the cross from us in there. That, uh, that was for the four speed manual that was in it. So, this is all of our little uh, harness that had the big block. All that good jazz. And I'm keeping the same radiator with the fan. It kept that big block cool. It'll keep this 5.3 cool with no issues. Um, use that same battery. I'll probably relocate it to the back. I'll have a different video on that. But uh, this is what's the fuel line to the big block. I'm going to have a nozzle on here. It has adjustable settings. It's not like a power washer. You could probably take this to the uh, car wash and you know get a good power wash on it. But I'm going to just use this water hose. Oh yeah, coming out real good. See that, all that grime and dirt coming off. And then you'll have to get off in those creases. You have to get off in the creases, uh, like with a flathead or something like that. But, as you can see, look at that. Yeah, we're going to paint it too, so we're just trying to get all the dirt and grime off of it. So now, all right, so I'll just take a flathead, kind of break it off up in there a little bit more. You know, you just have to take some time and get off in there. So I'm not going to video the whole thing of me getting into every little crevice. It's going to be a minute. But this is the general idea and gist of what I'm doing. I have some on the ears right here. No more stuck. So you may need to let it sit a little bit. This is the greaser. Not too long, but let it sit for a few minutes and then come back through after you've broken it up with your brush make a few more passes on it so the body of it is almost completely cleared out so I'll let it sit off in here these little crevices you know let it break off on its own break down that grease and I'm gonna just paint it black the pan I'm gonna leave the original color so if you wanna see leaks and things of that nature you can see it dripping from the pan, which usually that's where it'll be dripping from. So, main body of the transmission, I'm not really too worried about. You know, I'm just breaking it up with this brush here. You can also use a wire brush, which I do have. I'm just using this one for now. So, let's make a few passes. On the little tougher areas, like up here. Passes there. And 
And yeah, you just go through again. Make as many passes as you need to get it as clean as you need it. Still, still kind of dirty there. Kind of caked up. Get my spray in there. So in these little crevices where my brush isn't getting, I'll let it sit. I use my little pick, flathead, whatever you got to break it up. Make another pass with your brush. Yeah, it's on there pretty good. So, see? Some spots are worse than others, but this degreaser is going to break through it. It breaks through grease on, for your oven. I mean, it's a dollar. So, I mean, it does good for what I'm using it for. See all up in here. See how thick it is. Yeah, it's caked up on there. That's caked pretty thick. It was. See off in here. Yeah, that's caked up. So you want to come through and break it up, you know. This flathead works for me. It gets off in those little pieces. So I'm gonna go make a few more passes on this, and when I get it pretty clean, uh, I'll show you guys, and then we'll get to the point of painting it the color that we want. All right, it's been about 30 minutes, and I've been scrubbing. As you guys can see, it was way better than what it was. You know, I tried to get in the crevices with my um, little flathead screwdriver. Both sides there where it's really bad. That there is kind of like flash rust, surface rust or whatever. Uh, that'll be fine. I'll take a wire brush to it, you know, kind of get get what I can. But I'm going to dry it off a little more. I still have a few more areas to go to clean up, but it's getting much better. So after that, I'm going to dry it off with a towel and sit out here and let it air dry for a little bit longer. And then we'll put some paint on it most likely black we'll leave the transmission pan the color it is you know just so you'll be able to see drips from your gasket there if it ever leaks but uh i think i'll do black so i'm gonna clean up a little more and i will show you guys uh start recording right before it's dried off and i start painting all right y'all i've cleaned it up some much cleaner than what it was much cleaner I'm gonna go ahead, spray it down with some paint, see how it looks. Shouldn't be too bad. I still see a few spots here and there. I can clean up some, so I'm gonna hit those up and then I'll finish spray paint. And just so some of you guys know, this big block is gonna go into another home. It's, it's getting sold. So, probably tomorrow, they'll be here about noon to come get this old thing. I told them I sell the whole engine from intake to the oil pan you get all the accessories you can take those new headers i just got those from summit this week and he's taking the whole thing and i'm gonna put an ls in there and we're gonna start from scratch i think he wants his uh turbo 400 as well so he might uh he might get this he might not he'll let me know i was in the process of cleaning it up that stuff works wonders just letting you know but uh he might get it, he might not. If he doesn't get it, we'll put this uh, 400 behind the LS. Five, three, or four, eight, I don't know. But either way, this is going to a new home. So it'll be gone, it'll be sold. We're gonna get another LS motor, like what we got over here, and this blue one. And today I'm going to look at some, uh, some rims so we could do some big rim racing this year. Since uh, a lot of these Oklahoma cats talking about they got some heat, you know, they coming out strong. We're going to see. We're going to see. But uh, I'll keep you guys updated. Uh, I'm about to go look at these rims here in a minute. This is the first coat. I just put it on there lightly. Oh. Then spray it too heavy. Just still a light coat. Yeah. All around. And I'm going to come back over it again with another coat. I'll probably do just... Another uh, a little bit heavier one. What Second heavy? coat and then do a final third just to touch it up. We'll touch it up. We should be good to go. We'll touch Alright, got the last coat on it. 
I think it came out pretty good myself. So this vacuum uh, actual uh, modulator, this is your vacuum modulator. You have a hose right here, little vacuum hose, rubber hose running to the to the motor for your vacuum control. I got a new piece of that. I got a new actuator. Here's the part number there. It's from TCI. It's pretty cheap. I think I got it off uh, Amazon. But anyway. I do have a new one of those, so we'll go ahead and replace it out now. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. It's on that finger tight yesterday. I left it in there to paint, so I didn't get the new one. The paint all over it. This little bracket here holds it in place. So all you do is just you pull it out, and you have transmission fluid start coming out. So, oops. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this one out real quick. And then put the new one in there. Just like that. Pretty simple, pretty simple. And it has a little O-ring built into it. Let's get this bracket on there. Actually, this bracket here too small this uh, neck piece is bigger than your bracket piece so what I'm gonna do is I'll probably see if I can cut it out oh there we go I had it on the wrong part y'all I'm slow so let's go ahead and put this uh, come on get on there Yeah, I had on the wrong part, y'all. I'm tripping. And there you go. Piece is sitting there. Tighten it down. Good to go. Got a new piece. New trans cooler fittings. I'll probably need a new uh, dipstick tube, but I'll probably throw some paint on that and we should be good to go. Yes, sir. Kick down cable. I might need to get into one of these. Probably sell these little cores real cheap, so I might just buy another one of those off Amazon. But there we are. Easy and simple. I have another video for you guys when I do something else, but uh, this is what we got so far.